faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, able to leap tall buildings at a single bound. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superman! It's Superman, strange visitor from the planet Krypton, who came to Earth with amazing physical powers far beyond those of mortal men, and who, disguised as Clark Kent, mild-mannered reporter for a great metropolitan newspaper, wages a never-ending battle for truth and justice. Today, panic and terror engulf the city of Metropolis as the Ghost Brigade threatens to strike again. As Superman and the Metropolis Police frantically search the length and breadth of the city for what is seemingly the ghost of Jack the Ripper, Lois Lane saunters down a darkened side street on her way home, unaware of a gaunt figure wrapped in an old-fashioned English cape and wearing a wide-brimmed black hat dogging her footsteps. Halfway down the block, the girl reporter pauses momentarily, peering through the inky blackness. Now, why in the world are the streetlights out? be silly if I couldn't even find my own house. Then, as she takes a tentative step forward, she is suddenly conscious of someone moving behind her. A heavy footfall, then another and another, approaching in deadly, deliberate rhythm. <gasps> With a gasp of sudden, instinctive fear, Lois spins around, but her wildly searching eyes can see nothing. This blind, choking panic wells up within her. The smothering blanket of darkness seems to whirl her away into another world. A world that echoes with the sound of approaching doom. And now, the adventures of Superman. Realizing that he must track down and destroy the mysterious ghost brigade before he can help Perry White counter the attempts to wreck his administration and drive him out of the office of mayor, Superman, in his guise of Clark Kent, revisited the wax museum with Monsieur Brabon, the sculptor who fashioned most of the wax statues. Kent hoped that Brabon could offer some explanation for the seemingly supernatural activities of the statues of Captain Kidd, Jesse James, and the other infamous members of the ghost brigade. However, before the sculptor could volunteer any information, Kent suddenly noticed that one pedestal was empty. A pedestal which had supported the statue of a deadly assassin who, in years gone by, roamed the streets of London, leaving a trail of brutal, cold-blooded murder in his wake. Now, the ghost of Jack the Ripper was loose in Metropolis. A few hours later, as dusk settled over the city, the first report of the Ripper's murderous activities reached City Hall and the entire police department was alerted. Prowl cars ranged every street. Policemen on foot watched every pedestrian. And resuming his true identity, Superman took to the air to help in the desperate search. But as the man of steel rockets through the night sky, skimming over rooftops, darting through narrow streets and twisting alleys, scanning every shadowy doorway for a glimpse of the maniacal killer, his amazing vision fails to penetrate the Stygian gloom of a small side street where Lois Lane, helpless and alone, stands paralyzed with fear as the footsteps of the killer come closer and closer. Who? Who's there? Answer me. Who? Who's there? <laughs> <laughs> Just then, however, a car rounds the far corner of the block and twin beams of light cut through the darkness. A tall, dark cloaked figure is clearly illuminated. A figure towering over Lois, upraised hand clutching a steel-bladed knife. The girl's horrified scream rises clearly through the night air, reaching the keen ears of Superman flying high above the city. Great Scott! That may be an attack by the Ripper! Down! Down! What? You'll have to use better steel than that, my friend. Superman, I... I didn't do nothing. No, just a little attempted murder. Come here. No, no, let 
Go. Relax Go. or I'll break you in hey. two. Hey, what's going on here? It's all right, friend. Everything's under control now. Gosh, it's Superman. Thanks for driving down this street. If you hadn't, this poor girl would be dead now. Well, gosh, you sure she ain't? She's lying awful quiet. She's all right. She only fainted. Oh. Well, anything I can do, Superman? No, thanks. I can handle things. Come on, you. Put me down. Put me down. Oh, no. We're going on a little trip. Yeah. Now, Lois under my other arm, and we're all set. There we are. Up, up, and away! Last of Henderson, will you stop that infernal pacing? How do you expect me to keep calm when the head of my police department is a nervous wreck? Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. White, but I, I can't help it. Why don't we get any reports? All my men are out. They're turning the city upside down. We should hear something. Well, no news is good news. Oh, every time that phone rings, I think Jack the Ripper has another victim. Good evening, Inspector Henderson. What? Mr. What? White, Superman. Superman. Caesar. Superman. What in blazes is going on? It's all over, Mayor White. You don't have to worry anymore. I've got Jack the Ripper right here under my arm. Great jumping bullfrogs. Well, who's the girl? Oh. What? Why, why you slow it? Yes, she had a bad scare and she fainted, but she seems to be coming around now. Here, I'll, I'll put her on the couch. Get some water, Henderson. Right. But let me get a look at that Ripper guy. You will, Inspector. He's going to stick around for a long time. Oh. Easy, Miss Lane. What? Take it easy. What? Why, Superman. That's right. And you, Chief. Yes, Lois. But what happened... What am I doing uh, here? Here's the water. Uh, Superman apparently pulled you out of a jam, Lois. Uh, it's him. It's Jack the Ripper. Is that enough? Keep him away no, from no, me. He won't hurt you now. Uh, here, here, Lois. Take some water. No. I'll be all right. Well, then let me have it, Mayor White. Let's give the Ripper a good face wash. Get some of that makeup off. No, no. Let go of me. Hold still, you. No, no. no, no. There, that's better. Uh, let me see his face. Take a look. Why, it's Turkey Morgan. Who? Turkey Morgan. He used to be Mike Hickey's right-hand man before Hickey went to prison. Well, you mean to say that, 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 that this fellow has been all those those ghosts? So it seems. But why? I don't understand. Turkey knows. He'll tell us. Come on, Turkey. No, no, I don't know nothing. Turkey, remember the little flying trip we just took from uptown? I noticed you didn't enjoy it too much. Perhaps another spin at 5,000 feet might loosen your tongue. No. Sometimes my hands get cold up there and I drop what I'm carrying. No, no, you wouldn't. Oh, yes, I would. Inspector Henderson, will you open the window, please? Sure. Give him a good ride, Superman. The best. Let's go, Turkey. No, don't put me down. I'll, I'll talk. I'll tell you everything. All right, go ahead. Uh, let me catch my breath. Catch it fast or you'll be losing it for a long time. Ah, uh, he's stolen. Come on, Turkey, open up. Okay, okay, give me a chance. Remember, Turkey, we've got you on a charge of attempted murder. All right. Here it is. The guy behind the whole deal. The guy who thought it up and figured it out is... Look out, Turkey! <laughs> Suddenly, like an arrow sped from a bow, Superman leaps at Turkey Morgan in a flying tackle, sending him sprawling just as a shot rings out. And a bullet meant for the gangster buries itself in the wall. Who fired the shot, timed to eliminate Turkey Morgan an instant before he was about to reveal the man behind the mystery of the ghost brigade. We'll know in a moment when we hear the exciting climax of our story. So keep listening. And now, back to the adventures of Superman. Just as Turkey Morgan, captured by Superman and brought to Mayor Perry White's office, was about to reveal the name of the man behind the mystery of the Ghost Brigade, a shot rang out. Moving with the speed of light, Superman caught Morgan in a flying tackle and sent him sprawling as the bullet, intended to silence him forever, passed harmlessly over his head and embedded itself in the wall. Now, a split second later, the Man of Steel is up on his feet, heading for the door of the office while Perry White, Police Inspector Henderson, Lois Lane, and Turkey Morgan look on in dumbfounded amazement. Come back here. I saw you fire that shot. You can't get away now. That's what you think. That's what I know. Oh, playful, eh? Evidently, you haven't heard that bullets bounce off my chest. Well, what are you waiting for? You've got three more cartridges in the gun. Come on, shoot them at me. Let's play catch. Oh, those are a little wild. You're getting nervous. Let's have the last one dead center and watch it bounce. You'll never get me alive. Oh, so that's it. Saving the last bullet for yourself. No, you don't. No, there we go. Sorry, no. you're going to live to face the music. I'll take that gun. No, thank you. you? Now... In you go to tell your dirty double-crossing story to Mayor White and Inspector Henderson. No. And when you're through, I want the honor and privilege of escorting you to jail. For I hope they keep you for the rest of your twisted life. Come on, Mr. Rat. 
lifting his captive by the scruff of the neck. Superman carries him back into Perry White's office. Who is the man who tried to silence Turkey Morgan and then, cornered, attempted to take his own life? We'll know tomorrow, gang, when we bring the mystery of the Ghost Brigade to a smashing climax and begin another exciting Superman adventure. So don't miss tomorrow's doubleheader, the solution of the Ghost Brigade mystery, and the beginning of another story. Be sure to listen, same time, same station, to the adventures of Superman. Superman is a copyrighted feature appearing in Superman DC Comics Magazine and is brought to you Monday through Friday at this same time. Watch for the Superman Adventure Serial, soon to be shown at your local movie theater. 